Hey there YouTube, so today's video is going to be on the Cancer Man and Leo Woman compatibility. I'm trying to switch up my introductions, so um, bear with me, I'm just trying something new. Um, anyways, stay in tune to see what this couple has in store. Okay, so let's jump into it. So I want to start off by saying... Um, the Leo woman, she is ambitious. She is strong-willed. She is not the type to back down to a challenge or a confrontation because she wants to get her point across. Um, she's a fire sign, so like something about fire signs, they just, they got points to prove. Like they got to prove that they're the best, or that they can do it, or that they can handle the challenge. Like they just do not back down from a challenge. Um. Also, she's very friendly and approachable, and um, you know, she's um. She is um just a strong-willed woman. She's sometimes like considered loud. But that's just because she likes to take charge and wants to make sure her point gets across. Um, she can be. She, but she is, is very regal. Like, she has a grace to her boisterousness. Like, she has, a, like, she can be loud and commanding and take control of a situation or a room. But she can do it in a soft and, um regal way okay so being that she is a lion the leo um she can be like a big cat purring and comfortable and leisurely laying around gnawing on a snack or something or she can get roared up and be in a full rage and like she has to just get all her fury out like you wants to upset the queen right because you know what happens like peasants get killed when the queen is upset so in walks the cancer man. She she sees in him. She because she's driven, because she's friendly, and because she's determined to find out what's going on exactly. She finds a way into the cancer shell, and once she sees the inside cancer, she falls in love with him. So, like, the world might be see the outside cancer who has his shell on, who's grumpy, who makes jokes to deflect, you know. Um, the Leo woman sees all, pa all past that, and she loves to him for who he is on the inside. And once she falls in love with the cancer man, it's hard for her to let go. She does not want to let go at any cost she is the um the fake fire sign so when these two come together the cancer man likes the factor that she's a strong woman and that even though she's seen his inside his shell she doesn't like abuse that or use it against him she still takes care of him like she cooks his meals and, um, you know, helps him pick his clothes and just, you know, caters to her king. Because, of course, he's her king because she's a queen, so she will have it no other way. Than, and when she tries to conform him into the king, um, he likes that. He likes the transformation that she tries to, the level she tries to take him to. But you got to remember, too, that their placement in the sign is Leo is right after Cancer. So Leo is going to have things to teach Cancer. And Leo is going to see Cancer's faults and be reminiscent of her own because she just evolved from that cycle. So that keeps them together, too, the teacher-student. Um, um, let me see. So the Cancer man, he with her, they make a family you know, they, um, but you know, the cancer man, if he has insecurities that he hasn't evolved from yet, he deflects them onto his partner, but she's a strong, a strong partner. So 
that won't scare her off or run her off. She's going to try to work through. She's going to try to help him work through his insecurities, which is a good thing because it shows that she cares. And it's a loving thing because she wants her partner to be the perfect, strong king. But those are things that we can't do for others. Getting past your insecurities is something that you have to find within yourself. And if he does find that within himself in the midst of their relationship, then their relationship evolves into something better. But if he does it, he's going to deflect that onto her and pick on her insecurities. He's going to, is, is going to, and, and, and after a time, she's not going to see it. As, at first, she'll see it as deflection and she'll try to work on it and fix it. But after a matter of time, once she realizes that only he can fix his insecurities from the insides, that deflection will turn into him picking on her. He's going to pick, because of course, we always see in our loved one what's wrong with us. That's just how it is. And we either try to fix it or we harp on it. And he's going to choose to harp on it because he's emotional. So the things he do are going to have emotional backing so the lash so when he says something hurtful to her it has emotion behind it which hurts even more and the leo woman can take a lot she is very strong so she doesn't give up she keeps trying and keeps trying and keeps trying and it's like a cycle because it's to the point where she's had enough and then she'll she'll step away from it but what he'll find is that no one else can fill her shoes so he'll come back but if he comes back and those insecurities still aren't dealt with, it's going to be the same cycle until the point where the Leo woman actually has had enough. You know, so so just don't do that to her. Like, if you know, if you see that you are trying to deflect on her, your insecurities, why don't you work on fixing your insecurities, Cancer me I'm like... And it could be anything stemming from a parent leaving you when you were a child. Or it could be anything. You know what I'm saying? But you can deflect those insecurities on to your partner. Like, you know, like, she's able to bring you out of your shell. But she didn't bring you out of your shell for you to bash her. She brought you out to, cause for the best of you. You know? And, you know, it's sad if he doesn't discover that until the relationship's over because they could have been a great couple they're funny together but if he discovers that he sh afterwards they turn into friends they turn into co-parents and friends like you know because of course the leo woman once she's done she's gone she's not coming back and yes you're gonna miss her for everything that she did for you so it's like a shame if you don't discover in time that you need to treat your Leo woman like the queen she is and appreciate the attributes she brings to you guys' relationship. But the cancer man is so... He, he can't help but to go into his shell or deflect. Sometimes his, or his shell can be deflection. Like, you know what I mean? And then like, a lot of people won't understand that that that's how he works like how the leo woman understands him um but you know growth is a good thing like i feel like if they meet in a time where he is either past that stage in his life if they meet at a time where he's past that stage in his life then they will do good because He's a he's a hard worker, you know. He loves good food. He um, because he um, is so guarded. He's not easy to get next to, so he's uh more prone to be in a leadership role because he has that sternness about him from had always leaning on his shell for dependency. It makes him. A tough person on the outside but on the inside he's a, an emotional water sign but like I said it takes a lot of clearances to get to know him on the inside like that so um, you know um, and then another thing too that keeps them together is the fact that he's a crap and, and, and once he you know revels in how the Leo woman 
treats him like a king. He's gonna, he's gonna grab onto her. He's gonna cling to her with his claws. So they're gonna stay together a long time. So, so in essence, it's like a 50 50 because they could stay together so long to where he overcomes his insecurities and it works out. And, or they could stay together for a long time until the point where she's just had enough and she just roars and blows up and has to go away. But she's not the type to stay angry. Like, she's like, you know, like she's, she, she's like a lion. They rev up and they roar, but then they go back to their graceful ruling of the jungle. Like, She's not the side to take, not the side to stay mad for a long time. So eventually, when the cool down happens, they do gravitate back towards each other. So, you know, I would say give it a go because, like I said, if his insecurities have already been worked through and he's a more mature cancer, then it can work because he, he, he will love the way you will turn him into a king. He will love you for your queenly ways and the way you love the family and the way you take care of things and cook for them. Like he will definitely see you as a prize and he will treat you like the queen you are. Um, you just have to be careful not to tread on his emotions or trigger his emotions because then that will turn into that backlash effect, you know, like Leo, your Leo women, she's very determined to have her way. And not purposefully, you may tread on his emotions, but you have to remember that is his core and that is what he's, his base. So you have to tread lightly on that. You can't control his emotions. That's inside of him. It's just something that you can't do. So if you can accept his emotions for the good and the bad and let him work through them instead of trying to take charge of them, it could give you guys that balance you need for the longevity because... You ultimately want to nurture, you know, um, the relationship, okay? Um, but like I said, they'll be good friends. They'll talk because Leo, she's a smart woman with ideas and ambitions. And Cancer, he's an emotional talker. He loves to talk. So they're so they'll so they'll talk about a lot of different aspects and they'll touch a lot of bases in their conversations will actually be, they'll, they'll have substance because he's bringing the emotional side and she's bringing the ambitious side to their conversation. So they definitely, you know, it, 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 and then, um, you know, of course in the bedroom, Leo has the high sex drive. So, you know, and then cancers are emotional. So sex for them can be emotional. So it turns into a give and take thing, you know, it definitely turns into a give and take thing. Um, you know, um, it's a beautiful thing, though, like I said, because the crab sticks his claws into who he loves. They could last a long time. They could last a lifetime. Once he's past his issues, they can last a long time. Um, and the Leo woman, she has a way of always turning things around and, and putting a smile on your face or making sure you're, you know, she's happy. Like, happiness is infectious, as they say. So, if she's a happy, boisterous Leo, you can't help but to fall into her happiness and her positivity and her positive outlook towards life. Like, it's always good to have a partner like that who sees the positive side of life and who keeps a happy tone to the relationship. And she definitely brings that. Um, so, it's like she has a way to bring him out of his moody spells. She does. She she has that charm and that magic to bring him out of his moods, and he appreciates her for that. Um, he just has to, you know, she's a queen, so he has to treat her as such in order to keep her happiness going. You know what I mean? Like, treat your Leo like a queen, and she will treat you like a king. And, you know, not every woman has the ability to treat a man like a king. I will definitely say that, especially not like how a Leo woman can, how she caters to you with the certain foods that you like and she wears the clothes that she knows that you um, find attractive on her and she keeps herself together and the children, like definitely a lot of women don't have that quality that the Leo woman does. So, 
you definitely want to keep that in mind. Um, that's really all I could say about the relationship right now. Um, so I guess just like and subscribe to my channel. Okay, you guys, what is y'all waiting on? All right, bye.